Communication is an integral part of our day-to-day -day life and many services like television broadcasting, banking, broadband connectivity and telephony are enabled through communication satellites stationed in the geostationary orbit far in space. In the past three decades, ISRO has launched and maintained a constellation of communication satellites essentially for domestic use. ISRO's GSAT series, with more than a dozen satellites in orbit, is dedicated to provide communication services all over the country. GSAT 30 spacecraft is a high power communication satellite. It will replace the aging INSAT 4A spacecraft. The satellite is based on ISRO's standard I3K satellite bus and will provide 12 normal C band and 12 KU band transponders. The satellite has three axis stabilized, momentum biased control system with a host of sensors, reaction wheels, and thrusters. GSAT 30 is an advanced communication satellite with a lift off mass of 3,357 kilograms to provide valuable communication services to the country for more than 15 years. This satellite will generate around 6 kilowatts of power. A host of new and advanced technologies are used to realize this satellite. The satellite has two large propellant tanks accommodated within its central structural cylinder. Liquid Apogee motor, which is GSAT 30's main engine, is mounted on a separate deck which interfaces with the bottom ring of the cylinder. The power system of the satellite comprises of deployable double sided solar arrays for generating electric power and a lithium ion battery of 180 ampere hour capacity. GZ30 communication payload is equipped with 12 C band transponders and 12 K band transponders. C band transponders are designed for two way communication using VZ terminals over a bust geographical region extending up to Australia in the east and Europe in the west. GSAT 30 will provide continuity of direct-to-home TV services from this lot as well as digital satellite news gathering and very small aperture terminal services. KU band transponders will provide services over Indian mainland and islands. The onboard KU band beacon transmitter will help earth stations to point their antennas precisely towards the satellite. GSAT-30 will be the 24th Indian satellite launched by the Ariane launch vehicle of Ariane Space. The Ariane 5V vehicle carrying GSAT-30 on board Ariane 5 launch vehicle from the European spaceport in Kourou, French Guyana. First, the launcher will inject GSAT-30 into a 250 by 35,975 kilometer elliptical geosynchronous transfer orbit, commonly known as GTO. Subsequently, the satellite's orbit will be raised from the GTO to the final circular geostationary orbit, GSO, by controlled firing of its liquid apogee motor, LAM, in stages. The deployment of the solar panels and the antennas will commence as the satellite nears its geostationary orbital home. The satellite employs high power amplifiers and state-of-the-art antenna system to meet the requirements of multiple users. With GSAT-30, ISRO is once again poised for yet another milestone event which will further strengthen our communications infrastructure and provide continuity of satellite communication services to the country well into 2030s.